Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3 for a build of the brand new 1998 Sylvia Ks. We're going to be doing a uh, Rocket Bunny boss kit, which is going to be, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome. So, now when I saw this car come out in the trailer, I was really, really excited to, um, I was really, really excited for it, not only because you've got the boss kit, but because you've got the stock body as well, so you can kind of pick and choose whether you want to use the stock body, the boss kit, it's it's totally up to you, and I think this is something that a lot of Drift guys were really, really wanting and really, really waiting for, so um, they're just continuing to expand the car list to a really, really awesome, awesome, amazing set of cars. I know I just reiterated really badly, but anyways, this car I think was needed in the car list, and I'm so glad it's here, especially with that kit. I remember that was one of the, the wide body kits that I was like, that I was like, I wish they had that in the game when the game first came out, and now they have it, and it's like, yes. Now, in keeping with the, uh, the overall theme, I guess, of these builds, I think the main thing, the main thing that I was going to do is, like, I'm, I'm going to show you guys what the pre-made kit looks like, and then we're going to go and do our own build out of it. So you can see here the SR, and we're going to be, I mean, it's not a bad engine, but we're going to be ripping it out. Um, once we rip that out, we should be good to go with all of our, like, all of our new stuff across the board. Um, and then as you can see, if you want to just go, you know, straight out the gate with the, um, with the boss kit, you can. Um, like I said, I decided not to. I decided to do my own thing and um, put the boss kit on the car and then uh, do my own build around it. I will say right now that I did, uh, did decide to do a V8 in this car. But everybody's going to have a different idea on their engine swaps. I just wanted a V8 because I wanted a really dialed in drift setup. I wanted it drift focused. I wanted a lot of torque. I wanted some top end. So we converted it to twin turbos. And I just decided that that was probably the best way to go. Um, and I think I, I made it supercharged first. And then I was like, wait a minute. No, thanks. I'm going to go back and swap it to twin turbo. So anyways... Focusing on, um, yeah, you can see where I swapped it back to twin turbos. So, the funny thing is, too, when you see how wide it makes the car on the stock tires, it's, like, hilarious. Um, as far as spoilers go, I almost did the little kind of duck bill um, from Rocket Bunny, but I decided to do, um, decided to, I think, I'm not sure exactly which one I decided to do. I think it was the, uh, I think it was actually, yeah, that's the one, the Ings rear wing. I was like, it was either the Forza wing or that, whatever, I guess, Ings is how you pronounce it, but... Anyways, going over to Wheels and Tires, Horizon Edition Race Compounds, absolutely. Like, they, I wish you could put the tire lettering on some of the other compounds, but the way they have the tire compounds themselves set up in Horizon 3 pretty much makes it okay to run race compounds on a drift car. It, it makes it fine. No, it used to be where running race compounds on a drift car in previous Forza games made it really, really, um, really twitchy, made it annoying, made it too sticky most of the time. Whereas this setup is really easy to manage, actually, and I really like what they've done with it. So there's not really any, um, there's not really any downside uh, to going full drift with, well, I'd not say full drift, to going with the Horizon race tires, race compounds, on a full drift-focused build. <laughs> Man, when you put the race suspension on it, it slams the living crap out of it. It just slams it to the ground. Um, not quite to non-functional levels, but, 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 but close. Pretty close, actually, to non-functional levels. So, I would say, if you're going for, you know... Full function, maybe all the way down isn't the way to go, but if you're going for a drift car, you can still be um, incredibly low and still be functional. I mean, look at the Hoonigan, um, the Hoonigan FCRX7. That thing is insanely low, and they still take that thing out and drift it. So, real quick, actually, just because we're, um, just because we're about, like, eh, about halfway through the build, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I shout a couple of you guys out on Instagram, because you guys have been going crazy lately. Um, there's, like, see, my latest, th uh, latest picture hasn't even been up for 24 hours yet, and it's already got over 1,400 likes. You guys are going crazy on this, uh, on Instagram, like I said. So, I'm um, just going to call out, uh, some of you guys, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Um, Wurus underscore 72, Jack dot heart underscore, uh, let's see, Chris dot Thompson underscore, uh, Cryptic187, 
and let's see, Randall, uh, Randall dot McCall, um, let's see, Radicon, and underscore Charles underscore Mopar. So if you were one of those guys, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, I'm sure the YouTube your YouTube username is going to be different than your you know Instagram username, but still. So I decided I wanted a little bit of a different kind of paint job on this car. I went for like a semi gloss. Um, two-tone pearlescent type deal um, it was either do a crazy paint job or do a bunch of stickers and I was like you know do a wrap and I was like well I kind of wanted to do a crazy color so I was like yeah crazy color is going to be the best way to go on this car I think it's just crazy colors really offset a car really really well in my opinion like they're so um, crazy colors just pop so much that there's really like there's not much more you can um, like there, there, there's not there's not a, like a much better thing you can do with some cars. I mean, yes, some cars look better when they're sticker bombed or whatever, but a lot of cars look, look best with these two-tone paint jobs. Now, as far as wheels go, I was a little bit undecided at first on what wheels I wanted to run, and then I started looking around, and I, I found some wheel styles that I was like, first first off, I found some, some wheels that I really, really liked, and then I started to find some wheels that I was like, okay, yeah, those were kind of made for this. They looked like they were made for this. So, you guys will find out what those were in a minute. Um, this n Nothing in that category really worked for me, um, but then I came over here to the ADV ones, and I was like, okay. Yeah, these these work and these work really well. And I get I get that it's kind of like that stereotypical concave wheel kind of look, but when you when you look at it a little bit more in depth, it really offsets this car really really nicely. I mean, normally you'd see like, you know, super deep dish kind of wheels on 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 a build like this, and I like the concave style, dude. I really really like that kind of that kind of look just really makes this car pop and it really shines with the with the wide body kit it, it it makes the wide body kit look even wider honestly like when you put really nice concave wheels on a car like this it really offsets the wide body super well but um moving into driving it now the first thing i the first thing i did before i drove it is i went over the tune and i didn't have to do too too much to it i re-geared the final drive to four tens just so we would have a really 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 responsive rear axle and um, the alignment already pretty much set. Negative three degrees of camber in the front, negative two in the back. Um, we softened up the front sway bar a little bit just so we can get, you know, a little bit more oversteer. Because, um, again, this is a drift build, so we're pretty much going all out for that. Um, softened the front kind of across the board in the suspension. Rebound and bump, that kind of stuff. Uh, braking force, we made it a little bit more to the front and bumped up the pressure a little bit. So in case we wanted to initiate off of a trail brake, we can, no problem. I mean, you, you still can without setting it up like that. But when you set it up like that, it makes it even easier. Now, the first drive in this thing it was kind of interesting for me because I didn't actually expect it to be as smooth as it was. Because some of the wide body cars can be a little bit twitchy. Not this one. I was like, you'll see me overcorrect a little bit sometimes. And that's because I was expecting it to twitch a lot more than it actually did. This thing just flows through drifts. It literally just flows all over the road. You pull the e-brake and then clutch kick it, you're, you're golden pretty much. It's a very, very easy car to drift, very easy car to slide, and a very easy car uh, to tandem with, as you guys will see in the next video um, that I'm going to be putting up a little bit later. But... There is absolutely no problem whatsoever with getting this thing to getting this thing to slide around. I mean, the cockpit is is really nice. You can see a lot. I mean, the fact that it's also you know that the steering wheel is also on the opposite side, it doesn't really doesn't really affect it all that much. I mean, you get used to it pretty much immediately. Um, you can't see me snap my fingers to display how quickly you get used to it, at least in my mind. But anyways, you also get. I mean, when you look at that front end you realize how gorgeous the boss kit actually is. It's like, dude, it's it's Sylvia from the back and just menacing pure evil from the front. It's crazy. A little BRZ kind of rolling along right here. I was like, yeah, I, I was trying to drift around him and pass him, but then the traffic car came the other way, and I was like, oh, well, it looks like we, we may be getting a little bit more friendly with this BRZ than I thought we would, but... It's all right. I mean, you end up end up doing that with some cars anyway. Anyways, there, anytime. Some cars, sometimes, anyways. I don't know why my sentences are a little bit all over the place at the moment. But if you guys did enjoy this build of this S14 with the boss kit, don't forget to 
like for hitting the back end of that van. That was stylish. No. But if you guys, anyway, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe for more videos like this one. We'll be posting new ones daily, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Hope you guys enjoy.